Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Santois, and today um, I thought we'd try out a little bit of a different game. Uh, it's one of my favorite games, um, kind of in the same vein as Minecraft, but uh, a little bit different. It's it's 2D, um, but I really enjoy Terraria, and I've played uh, a lot of it. Um, but I figured we'd just jump right in and start with uh, an expert mode world. Um, despite having played it so much, I have never actually beaten expert mode. So I thought that would be something fun to try today, and I hope you guys will enjoy uh, this new series. So I'm just going to get things started here. We're going to do a new character. We're going to do classic. Name them Santois, obviously. And then we're going to go here and just hit that random button. Perfect. All right. Uh, so this is our new character. We're also going to be making a new world. Um, we're going to set it to expert. Do medium. Um... Uh, Let's randomize that seed, randomize the name, and then you should be good to go. Create that, and let it generate. All right, so here we are in our new world. Let's check out what we've got. We've got a normal pickaxe, normal axe, and then an agile copper short sword. Uh, not particularly interesting there. Let's start by getting a few trees cleared out here, and uh, you know, getting a little base of operations set up. Um, because we're going to want to try and get a house before the night happens. Um, and we also want to see if we can get some more weapons, armor, tools, and what have you. Get out of here. Alright, cool. So now we can start getting some torches too. Okay, so I've cleared out a good area of space. So let's just get a quick workbench. Quickly make ourselves some wooden armor. And let's also go for... A wooden sword i think that'll be better than yeah that'll be a lot better than our copper short sword we'll keep our short sword though because we're gonna maybe want it for the zenith but that's the last weapon we can get anyway so not really a priority but this should be a little bit better for dealing with these slimes not auto click which uh or auto swing which is annoying because these guys uh, take quite a few hits but there we go got that slime killed and let's just, you know, help the guide out here. There we go. Okay, so we've got a little bit more gel. And let's put our armor on. I want to find some better gear, ideally. Some healing potions would be good. Uh, stuff like that. But we will see what we get. I know this world has corruption. I saw it on the loading screen. We should be really careful that we don't go into that right away, because that will uh, be very dangerous. And I don't know if we can make it through the desert like this. We may not be able to. Yeah, that was a terrible idea. Okay. So that's very dangerous. Let's go a different way. Okay, so we're now going the other way. Hopefully I'll be able to find uh, something I can actually access. Or get into something that will kill me. I'd like to find a chest with maybe some movement options. That would be awesome. Some stone there. We can grab that later for a uh, forge. We can also just go mining regularly. Okay, here we go. This is a good sign. Let's actually make a few torches while we're at it, which should be enough. And some platforms. Uh, that'll be plenty. Just so we have a little bit more safety. While we're going down here, there wasn't actually anything here, which is a shame. We did get some shurikens, though, from that pot, which is always nice. Let's get out of here and avoid these slimes. All right, so I found the ice biome and a massive pit. So let's make a little bridge over this here, because if we fall into that, we are going to be in trouble. Okay, so we've gotten over the ice pit here. Um, I see a couple pots down here, so let's see. We've got healing potions, which is good. Some more shurikens, which is always nice. Get an escape route. And let's cross this gap. We can go down here a little bit, I think, but I don't want to go too far. We will definitely die. Yeah. That's probably crossing into dangerous territory there, so let's head back up. What we may want to do is just build a little shelter here for right now. 
start doing some mining in this stone. I need this anyways, so it might be good to just get a little set up right now. So now we can do a little bit more mining and hopefully start getting some better materials would help out quite a bit. Okay, so I think I've found a small little cave over here. Doesn't look like there's a ton of stuff in it, but got a pot here with some torches and then we've got lead ore, which is definitely good to grab. We can use that to get a little bit better um, gear in the future. We need to collect a lot of it though, so not right away. And there's some tin over to my right, which I'll also probably grab. So let's just check really quickly if it's still actually nighttime. I think it still is, but I'd like to know if we can... Almost daytime, but right now we're just gonna stay down here and keep looking for more stuff. I think it's probably safe for us to head back up to the surface. Yeah, I can hear the music change to the daytime music in the background. So let's go up and set up an actual house up there. That way we can just be more um, prepared for the future. And then I think we could probably go to the ice biome maybe. We don't want to build our house too far away from spawn just because for, for convenience sake uh, it's good to just kind of be near there. But we also don't want to build it too close. That spawn we can probably build our house like right maybe on this elevated bit here. So I usually like to build my houses uh, off the ground using rope just so stuff isn't able to um, like jump in off the ground. It also just makes it a little bit safer um, for our NPCs so that we don't have them getting killed by unsavory mob characters later on as well. Build wooden platforms up here. All right, so let's build a wooden platforms like that. And then we'll set up a little bit of a layer there. I usually like to put kind of a barricade in this central area because it'll be like a safe area so we'll have doors here right and then we'll start building actual housing off to the sides so first i'm gonna need another workbench i need two doors to start i'm gonna put more in i think we're also gonna need a bunch of these wood walls i got too many but that's okay because we're going to want to set up, actually I need more doors, uh, because we're going to set up the NPC houses right to the side here. Just kind of like along that line there. Now time to put in our walls here. This should be valid. It's too small. Okay, so the houses are a little too small. I've got to make them put three blocks at the end, make them a little bit bigger. So now this should be a valid house for our guide. Perfect. So now he will live there, which is good. And then we can uh, set up this other house here too. And I'm going to just put walls in this middle section as well, just because um, I don't want mobs spawning in this center area. We will put a campfire right up top, but this will just increase our health generation. Um, so we're going to want that. We're also going to want to make sure this is a valid house. So I'll need another workbench and a chair. We should also just kind of have our own crafting area set up, so we can put that for here right now. We'll, we'll eventually make our own kind of space to live in for right now. This little crafting spot, we'll, uh, it'll do just fine. We can start getting some bars, as you can see. So, not a lot, um, unfortunately, but something, which is a good start. And let's go back and uh, explore the world a little bit more. Uh, I think it would be good to keep going back to this right direction we found this way. Um, and maybe go past the ice biome. See if we can't find something that's, you know, in a chest because that would be really really helpful okay so we're back to crossing through the ice biome uh, on another little cave down in front of me just got to get these slimes out of the way 
Come here. There we go. I hate these guys. Especially with this terrible, terrible sword. Okay. Probably just eat a potion real quick. See. Those sticks are okay. Nothing there. It doesn't look like. We could probably want to wait a little bit for that area. Just because it um like large we don't really have any movement options yet however it is almost nighttime it is uh worrying okay so we're back in kind of the normal overworld area which is nice it's a little safer maybe we can find nothing down here okay we're really not having a lot of luck with the chests today there we go that's a chest right there what do we get an aglet so increases our melee speed we got some tin rope shurikens recall potions i'm always happy to see those torches silver and wood and we'll just grab the chest that's a good start looks like there's another little area here i wonder if there's anything else doesn't look like it but nothing in this little uh, section there but we did get our first accessory which is good so we'll be able to move a little faster um, which is always nice you have to be careful though because it is nighttime or about to be at least and that's going to make things a lot more difficult so i'm going to have to i want to go actually you know what i know i said it was dangerous earlier but i'm going to go back to that ice biome cavern big one i think it would be good to check that out probably way more loot in there and i would really like to get something strong before we really get farther into this playthrough um, we can probably start by going to this underground area here though um, i'd like an explosive from one of these pots like a bomb or a grenade just because they'll give us um, a demolitionist who's really useful Okay, so we're back at this cavernous area, which is frightening for sure. Let's see if we can't uh, make things a little safer for ourselves. There are a lot of zombies down there, which I don't love. We're going to need more platforms, just, uh, just as a precaution, I think. We're now in like the official underground ice biome. A lot more dangerous however there is some really good stuff here if we can find it uh, but as of right now i don't see any of that stuff what i really would like is um, a grappling hook but that unfortunately uh, it's not going to happen for a little bit i think but that makes things way easier uh, definitely one of my favorite items oh okay there's a little chest in there uh, it looks like a water chest but that means it's covered in water, so let's just sneak under here real quick. Open that chest without uh, flooding the entire cavern. Get this slime out of here first, though. Okay, he's, he's not a problem right now. Right, what did we get? We got a flipper. Very cool. And we got a sandcastle bucket. So nothing super useful, but at least we can swim if we fall into water now, which is nice. Um, and that is a piece of the uh, diving gear, I believe. So that'll be good to have for the future. One thing I am going to have to uh, decide on at some point is what class I'm going to be playing for this uh, playthrough. I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. Um, I've played you know, every class in the past, but I'm not sure what I'm going to want to do for expert mode because well, things are a little bit harder than normal. I'm thinking about melee doing ranger, or maybe doing ranger, um, but I've also thought about melee. Um, I'm not really sure. I think both are really fun. Definitely not going to be doing uh, summoner. I have played that class, um, and I like it enough, but it's just I found it's just not good without like adding stuff, or at least for me, um, at least like adding range weapons and such. Um, so I'm really just not a huge fan of it. I think the whips, while well, like. A good addition um didn't really make a ton of sense 
in terms of like play style. I think a ranged summoning weapon would have been a little bit better, but that's just what I think. Um, other people obviously have their own opinions about that, but probably not going to be playing summoner this playthrough. But we're not going to be playing much of anything if I can't uh, find some better gear, because we are not we're not finding anything here. Now we've cleared those guys out, we can actually increase our life total a bit, grabbing that life crystal. Now we have 120 life, which is awesome. And we can grab a little bit more tungsten as well. We also uh, have the merchant arrive, which is great. We can get some good stuff from him. Also grab this topaz up here. No, 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 no. I hate these guys. Oh, uh, okay, we're actually in trouble. Alright. I said I wasn't going back yet, but those bats were going to kill us, and uh, I didn't want that right now. So, unfortunately, or fortunately that we survived, we are going back to our little um, housing area. We've got the merchant, though. That's really good, because we can get um, just a lot better gear from him. We can get the anvil, which is really good, but we don't have enough. Oh, we do have enough. Okay. We can get another crafting station set up. We can also upgrade our melee weapon. This is one of my favorite early game upgrades here, getting the sickle. Um, it's a lot better than the wooden sword, and it has auto swing, so we can just kind of swing it around like that, which is great. And um, I don't think we need much else from this guy, but those were some really good upgrades we got there, so that's awesome. Let's actually craft a few things, though. Oh, we can make gem corns, actually, uh, if we wanted to. We can get a tin helmet, which is an upgrade over our wooden one. Um, only a little bit, though. Yes, we still have the same amount of defense, but the tin, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. We can keep that for uh, aesthetics. We also could make iron, or I guess lead, armor. But it might be good to get a better pickaxe just to make mining a little faster. Not quite sure what I'm going to do. But we've got some good gear now, which is awesome. Alright everyone, so I think I'm going to wrap up today's episode here. Uh, just kind of enjoy this nice little rainy day. Um, I know it wasn't the craziest first episode we've had, but um, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. I would have liked to get a little bit more um, utility items. But we only really got the Aglant and the Flipper, but it's something. And we've got a nice little base of operations started. Um, and we started a good bit getting some materials, which is good to see. So hopefully we will start getting a lot more stuff in the future. Um, and this playthrough of Terraria is going to be a good time. Um, I hope you all enjoy. I'm Santois. Thanks so much for uh, checking out this video today, and I'll see you all next time.